Thank you. There was another rally today at the West Virginia State Capitol. This one concerned parents gathering to put a spotlight on child sex trafficking in this country. 13 News reporter Larissa Casillas has the details. I myself have been a victim of human trafficking. I myself was a victim of child abuse. 80% of addicts were abused when they were young. Charged emotions at the state capitol Saturday during a rally to bring awareness to child sex trafficking in the U.S. And I feel that this is going kind of political and this is not political at all. This is because this is from my heart and I know that this is happening. Coon says it's happening in our own backyards. Over 800,000 kids go missing in the U.S. alone every year. We looked into human trafficking numbers through the National Human Trafficking Hotline. A few things we learned, West Virginia had 38 human trafficking cases reported last year. Nationally, the reports were 11,500 cases reported, and most human trafficking victims are female and foreign. Just this week, we told you of two local men from Dunbar and Nitro arrested for allegedly soliciting and traveling to engage in sex with minors. Both are charged with felonies, which carry sentences of 5 to 30 years in prison. Kuhn says everyone needs to be vigilant. They can put laws and stuff in place to where, like, if something were to happen, such and such, such and such, you could report, you know, the human trafficking number, all that. And then we would really have to make sure that we looked into every single case that was reported. In Charleston, Larissa Casillas, 13 News, working for you. Now, if you or someone you know are a victim, you can report it to the local authorities or you can call the Human Trafficking Hotline at the number you see there on the bottom of your screen. Well,